the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live here with Jay Diaz, the mastermind, the trainer, the man with the plan. Jay, this is the one. This is uh, what everyone has wanted. They wanted the true test. Allegedly, Luis Ortiz is it. Um, I mean, how are you receiving this one? Uh, you know, I consider them all true tests because you're talking about heavyweights. You're talking about one punch changes everything at any time in the heavyweight division. So they're all the same to me. That being said, I understand that the public sees this as the biggest fight of Deontay's career. So we're preparing just business as usual. We're doing the things we need to do to allow Deontay to be successful. Now you said that the public sees it as Deontay's biggest test. Where does Luis Ortiz fall for you in terms of tests for your fighter? You've seen him from the beginning to the end. Well, you might think that the, his sixth fight was the biggest test he's had so, thus far. Well, a lot of people in boxing have 20-20 hindsight. So going in, they'll look at a fight as, wow, this is a big fight, like Kelvin Price, mm -hmm. like Malik Scott. And, and then after the fact, instead of giving Deontay credit, they'll denigrate the opponent, which is not fair. Mm -hmm. Because going in, those were, those were fights. People wondered, why are we taking those fights? Um, this is a huge fight to, to everybody, I would hope. Because to me, this is like the semifinals. This is the final four. It's the top four heavyweights in the world, all undefeated. Wilder against Ortiz, and then later in the month, Joshua against Parker. The two winners will meet later in the year for all the marbles, all the belts, one face, one name, one champion, and we believe that'll be Deontay Wilder. Now, Jay, I mean, obviously you are the trainer, but you're, you're also the manager. Mm -hmm. um, I just talk to us about your mindset in allowing Deontay to take this fight again, knowing what happened with Pavekin, then seeing that it happened again with Luis Ortiz, and just not knowing where Luis Ortiz is or what version you're going to get, and just having to take his word that it was blood pressure medicine. Well, you know, it's been a couple of times uh, that he's tested positive, but giving him the benefit of the doubt, we're ready to roll. I don't think that I allowed Deontay to take this fight. Deontay wanted this fight. He pushed this fight. He, he didn't have to fight Luis Ortiz. He could have said, he tested positive twice now. I don't want to hear his name again. He's a cheater. Leave him alone. He could have said, let's take an easier route. Everybody wants to see Wilder against Joshua. Let's just bide our time until that fight. But he didn't. And he should really be given credit for saying, I want the toughest guy out there, the boogeyman, the guy nobody wants to fight, the undefeated guy. I want him on my resume. And that's what he did. So like I said, because of Deontay's insistence, you're left with the, the, the two biggest heavyweight fights that can be made or both going to happen in March. So we're, we're very excited to be part of that. TPV family, yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through th its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TPV family and help support the channel. Peace. No other sight in the game to see the boxing boys.